Pisces, this is your weekly um, Zodiac Tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign because it's an energy reading. So Pisces, always check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign because the energies are going to impact you. And you might as well get some insight into what's going on. And I tell you, you're going to be surprised um, that sometimes you don't relate to your Sun Sign the most. It's just how it happens. Um, also, uh, check out any video that actually appeals to you. If the, if the title calls to you, watch it. There's always an extended video after every single one of these videos. So if you want a deeper reading um, that basically extends the messages we start here, but really draws conclusions to the messages that we start over here, uh, the link is right below, and I, am, I, I welcome you over there. I hope to see you over there. Um, if you really love this video, please be sure to like it and then share it on your social media platforms and subscribe to the channel. And then once you've subscribed, you can ring that bell and hit all notifications so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Pisces in particular comes out every single Wednesday between 8 and 9 a.m. over on the west coast of the U.S., east coast of the west, east coast of the U.S. that translates into like lunchtime, 12 or 1, and over in uh, Western Europe that's about 5 or 6 p.m. at night. And I hope everybody all over the world can see it. If you really want more content, I have a second YouTube channel. It's called Astrology Motivation. Uh, please go discover what's over there too. That's where the weekly astrology forecast is posted and all my daily tarot card readings. If you want to join the, join the daily tarot card readings live and participate in the chats, please find me on Instagram at born underscore without underscore boundaries. Okay, let's go. Um, Pisces. What do you got for me? Defeat. Loss. Of what? Of what? There was something you were strong about now that you feel like you've lost. Strength card is coming out in reverse. I'm not in reverse. In the past. Pisces. An opportunity, a new beginning, a new start. So this isn't really a loss. This is a restart. This is almost like maybe you had to clear everything out. Maybe if things had to close down. They had to shut down. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, that's bad. Um, they had to shut down. Or maybe you did have to lose a little bit to gain a new perspective in something. I apologize for this, guys. This was really, an ir this is really irritating. What cards did I want to start off with, though, really? I, I was compelled, to, so they're, I was compelled to, to take them, and then, so they're, they're part of the reading. But there was definitely cards that I wanted to start with, and I can't feel... Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Seasons of the heart. So whatever this new beginning is, you're reluctant to start it. Whatever these new opportunities are, you're reluctant to start it. Maybe you feel defeated because they're not what you expected or what you really wanted. But there is definitely a transition here that you have to go through that you're not welcoming. And ultimately, maybe it's because you feel like you lost something or because you didn't do as well as you could have. But who the f*** are you judging? Why are you judging yourself like this? See, Pisces, life is a journey. And I think you know that. And I think in some ways... What you've really wanted to do was find your own way. You know, the traditional way wasn't going to be interesting enough for you. That was just too obvious, right? So there was a sense of really wanting to understand the world in the way that you needed to understand it and, and build out into the world in a unique way. You weren't going to be satisfied. You wanted to really contribute your own work. You wanted to create. That's you. That's who you are. It's essentially the essence of everything that is Pisces is to create from nothing. But it isn't from nothing. It's from the dream world, right? It's from that Neptunian, nebulous kind of imaginative space that 
a lot of people get lost in, but y'all don't get lost in that shit. You swim around in it and love it, and you just you just handle. Can you want to know why? Because you trust it. You don't question your imagination, and because of that, you're so good at manifesting something. There's a defensiveness here, though, a, a, almost like a, well, maybe I. It's it's like it's I'm not good enough, or it's not good enough. And this week teaches us to love ourselves to find a place in our hearts to love ourselves, um, despite our imperfections or our perceived imperfections. And to be honest with you, this looks like a perceived imperfection. It feels like you feel like you're doing something too small and thus you perceive that as a defeat. And you came out a long time ago, I guess maybe with really high hopes, right? You have a lot of strength coming out of the gate, but it feels like you th you haven't been defeated. You haven't been defeated because what you have now, you've defined by your own parameters. It hasn't been anybody else that's defining them for you. It's you. And you know what a success that is? How few people can say that they ushered themselves into this world on this new plane in this God space, in this beautiful reflection of what God talked them into, instead of just going along with whatever was the obvious path, the obvious road. Pisces, this is exceptionality. And you're kind of pushing yourself down like it's mediocrity. It ain't mediocrity. You think that it is. This is just a transitional period for you. It's just another season of your life. There's, there's nothing that like is, is overly defining you or restricting you or holding you back from greatness. This is just a stepping stone. Word up. Uh, lots of red tape, lots of conflicts, lots of complications. Uh, maybe a lot of haters and a lot of criticism. This card is just a lot of people maybe getting in your way. Um, a lot of people's questions. Or feeling like there's a lot of competition out there. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. And I don't think that you were interested in it. I don't think you were interested in, in the competitive aspect of what you do. I think you were just extremely interested in what you do. You're trying to reflect on something, think about something, learn something. But this is also about learning about, it's almost like you didn't see where the God space was in all this competition. It's like the, the competition was distracting you from your soul from your your um your your meaning your purpose in life it was distracting you from the connection to the divine and that's what inspires you that's where your inspiration comes from you didn't like that tower moment came maybe like a, a dark night of the soul kind of instance or a breakdown this breakdown came through realizing i don't want to compete it's not even that I can't compete. It's that I don't want to compete. Because when it becomes about competition, it's no longer about love. Now it's just about proving yourself or fighting. or And this is just not what I want. This is just not what I'm into. This tower moment drew everything around. And it made you build everything up in a different way. And how that way was, was your own way. And it is a lot simpler. And it is a lot more pure. And why can't you just respect that in yourself? Don't know. Good question. New beginning. Flipped over. So ultimately there was some sort of stagnation, stall. Uh, you didn't get to start over. Or you thought a new beginning was coming. It wasn't happening. Or maybe mm, spiritual. Spiritual strength. In other words, all the stalls all the pauses, all the times you've been held back, and this is coming up in the past, have actually helped you grow closer to your spiritual self, to faith, to feeling vibrations beneath the reality. It's helped you understand and grow stronger in faith. And now you stand here almost in some ways defend, in defense of faith. As in, I am not going to engage in any situation that brings me farther away from what I have faith in. If everybody knew what you knew, there'd be peace. Seriously. That's beautiful. I know. I know. It's like I'm supposed to, like... 
talk to you like these smut readings, right? He said, she said, who's fucking who? That's just not how I roll, you know? <laughs> That's not one without boundaries to row. Um, these are the cards that I wanted to start with. And I don't know why I forgot, but these are the ones that I wanted to start with. I am connected and I will surrender. Look at this beautiful energy of surrendering to the divine, of giving yourself over to your divine purpose. It's almost like you become a monk. And I don't think that you actually have. But there's a such a religious awakening in you. And I don't know, not religious is a bad word. Not a bad word, a bad description of it. This is a spiritual awakening in you. And I feel like this could have been because of a recent loss of a loved one or not even just a recent loss of a loved one, the feeling of a loved one around you all the time, the connection, the fulfillment of maybe a childhood dream or a need inside of you, yet you finally feel more connected to somebody than you used to feel because it's like they're an angel now, right? There is just that sense of being able to finally let go and forgive and feel protected by somebody in a way that maybe you could never have felt protected by them in real life. This is a really, you know what? Before I even started this reading, I knew, I knew that this was gonna be about faith. I knew that your journey in this energy is about your connection to God. What a beautiful place to be. I am connected like a little child, you know, like a, that state of being that hasn't been disrupted yet by the ego, by pain, by jadedness, by disappointment. No, you're connected and I will surrender. You're taking a huge leap of faith, Pisces. So this comparison outside of yourself to other people that makes you feel like you're lesser than, it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to break this down, this reading down, into um, career, money, and love. We'll get a little bit more specific in a second. Go with the flow, let things happen. In the past there was resistance. And I think that's why there was, a, there was a sense of not liking or feeling like you were in the right place because there was too much orchestration. Hmm. Enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. Both these cards have come out. It's also saying to you, sorry about that, I just have to, it's also saying to you, Pisces, you're starting to see, and it could have been not your own struggle, but somebody else's struggle. And you're starting to see that somebody else's struggle in you. You're starting to see the connection. You're starting to see the connection maybe between maybe between bad behavior patterns hurtful things that you've done to yourself or you're starting to see a connection between you and a tortured soul that you knew from the past and this is really i think a message of love coming through for you from somebody who loves you a great deal but isn't around to tell you this anymore is see my mistakes so that you do not repeat them because I love you and I'm going to make something very obvious to you so that you see those aspects of me that disappoint you in yourself. But instead of hating yourself, I'm going to come in and I'm going to love you like crazy the way I should have loved me. And now I'm going to help you find your way back to loving you and not making those same mistakes. I'm going to do this because of your connection to faith. 
of your connection to the spiritual. I'm going to do this because I love you. And now, a new start is coming. You're going to get back what you've lost or the opportunities that you've lost because you tried to rush things or because you weren't paying attention or you didn't appreciate the moment or you were trying to force things or you felt too much in control. Or you felt you had to be too much in control. Believe in the impossible. A new start is coming. And somebody is literally coming back from the spirit world to save your life. And hug you tight. And make sure that you don't fuck up. You are so connected, right? You are so connected right now. And you can feel this love coming through. So these defensiveness, the sadness, the, the awakening, realizing how connected you are to this person who may have disappointed you in the past, trying so hard to not be them and ending up being or doing something just like them that is hurting you. You didn't even see it. You were trying so hard not to be it. You disconnected and you ended up becoming it. And now it's, it's going to be made really obvious to you. It's life-saving. Let's see how this is impacting your career. It stagnated you. I think in some ways it has you've you've looked back in the past so long or it's got you it's got you looking in the wrong directions. You don't appreciate the moment that you're in. And in terms of your career, it's stagnated your career. It's kind of kept you hidden. You're it was almost like like um you're harboring these old emotions. These, these emotions that you're harboring have actually stalled your career. They've made you prejudice um, opportunities because you're trying so hard to not be what you think is ordinary. That's what was coming out in the beginning. You're trying so hard to not be ordinary so that you can be extraordinary, that you're actually hanging yourself up and stopping your growth and development. So it stagnated your career because you keep looking back. Now this is your energy, the moon, right? It's like you're looking into the past or there's, there's too much drinking going on. There's too much indulging and escapism going on. Something here is, is, is taking you out of the mindset of all that you really could be possible of if you just liberated your mind. You're still not over a loss or, or a perceived loss from the past. And that is, or you lost this opportunity in the past because you were distracted. And now you feel like you're in limbo in your career. Well, guess what? Your world's about to change. That's your old life. This pattern, this behavior, this part of your life that was disappointing in your career, it's ending. The world card is here. You're opening new doors. Let's go into a little bit of money. How is this energy affecting Pisces money? Uh, you're giving it all away. It's almost like you feel like you either you're spending it not too much on other things or you're giving it away to other people. It's almost like that MC Hammer syndrome where you feel like you have to help everybody and take everybody up with you. You have to save everybody because you would have wanted to be saved. You're taking your money and you're spending it too much. You're giving too much of it away. You're very charitable with it, but it's more like self-punishment and, and it's more like masochism. It's more like masochism and then you're kind of stuck with like mediocre money you're kind of like stuck um kind of scared kind of scared trying to holding on you're kind of like stuck to mediocre like this mediocre money that's that's four of pentacles it's like you you have enough to get by but you're worried you're oh there's always some financial struggle because you're giving too much of it away you know what i would do financially I would go back through my checkbook and start looking at all my subscriptions. What comes out of my fucking paycheck every fucking week? What can I stop? I bet you can save $200 a month. 
just by looking through and getting rid of shit that you don't need anymore. I'm not kidding. There is some sense of start valuing your money a little bit more and start holding on to more of it and don't think you have to give it away to win somebody's approval. Or, ooh, you're about to be given a financial opportunity. Somebody wants something that's yours. There's an idea that you have that is very valuable. It's coming out. Or, or like the advice that I just gave you would really work for a new start. But it's almost like come out, come out into the open. Real, realize, realize why you've been spending the way that you've been spending. Realize why you've been like putting your money in the places that you've been putting it. And so it's almost like one of your ideas is about to come into a financial windfall. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Let's go quickly into love before we go into the extended. The Wheel of Fortune is here with love. So karma is changing when it comes to love. There's a, a, real, a turnaround that karma's come about. This is usually good luck. Good luck, good fortune in love. Somebody who is hard to read, um, maybe a Scorpio. There is a sense of... Um, them opening up to you, them choosing you, them wanting you, you making them happy. Eight of Pentacles is also about working really hard, maybe at a relationship. And then there's Chariot here. Your love life is taking off because you've been working really hard at it. Something is coming in for you and there's progress that's going to be made. Um, or you're ready to move forward, even though you were a little bit defensive and, and kind of held back a little bit. Um, you're ready to take the next step because... You've done some hard work, or they you both done some hard work. I hope that you join me for the extended. Um, I'm going to go deeper into all these and draw some conclusions. Thank you so much for being here with me right now. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you soon.